Hey YouTube, I uh, just wanted to show you the some of the differences I've already noticed between iPhone 4 and iPhone 5. The one on the right, I'm sorry, iPhone 4S. <laughs> uh, the one on the right, the white one, is the iPhone 4S, and this one is the iPhone 4. Um, you can kind of tell the difference in age. I just picked this up. Uh, as you can tell, this one is already activated with AT&T, and this one, which is the old one, is no longer active. Um, but uh, what's funny is iMess iMessage still works on this guy, so I can still use it to text message my friends who have um, iMessage. Now, um, it is a little annoying, but I won't get into that right now. Um, so you, but you might see some text messages or something like that come through on this guy. It doesn't mean that it's active. Uh, just to prove that this is an iPhone 4S and this one is not, I'm just going to go to the settings menu and go to general. And you'll see Siri here, and you don't see it on this side. So that is what you get with iPhone 4S, okay? And you don't get it with iPhone. They're both on the same version of iOS 5. There's nothing running uh, except for this settings. Um, so I'm just going to kill those. Uh, okay, so now let's just do a couple of quick tests. I, I, I don't want to take a lot of time doing this, uh, so I just want to bring up a couple of apps. So here's the BBC News app. I'm just going to click that, bring them up. Um, a little faster, not crazy fast, okay? Not like that much faster. Here's, here's one that might take a little longer. So I've got Google Earth. I loaded them both on here already. So they've both been uh, run one time about 15 minutes ago. They've now been killed. I'm just going to run them again. So I'm just going to do geolocation real quick. Um, this one did load a little faster, but I had it in an angle, and it had been left off at a different place. So when I hit the geolocation button, they're both going to go to the same place, and they're going to find me. And it uh, looks like the 4S is loading a little faster. Um, uh, nothing too terribly significant. I mean, yeah, it's faster, but not crazy fast okay so that's that um, let's just uh, let's see here's the HBO app it's about a second behind the old one's about a second behind which is significant I suppose but um, not like upgrade worthy significant um, so uh, let's see here's the IMDB app not now. Okay. Um, here's here's a very simple app called Rat Cellar. Uh, so I'm just gonna see which one loads first. Uh, two seconds, about two seconds behind. Um, here here's Sports Tap. About half a second behind. Um, one thing everybody has, I'm sure, is Angry Birds. Okay, so this is the same version of Angry Birds, just on different pages right now. I'm going to run it, but I, I, I think one of them has logged into Game Center. The other one hasn't, but you, you'll get an idea by the load time of the uh, initial screen. How much time? Okay, so not the best test in the world, but yeah. Um... Let's see if I can find. Here's Fruit Ninja. Again, Game Center might get in the way. Okay, so one thing I do want to demonstrate before the video is over is a, it is a difference in, in sound quality and volume, okay? The 4S is significantly louder. Um, so let's see, same song, both at full volume as you can tell. Here's the 4.
Now here's the 4S. As you can tell, that is nearly twice as loud. And now it's not a very fair comparison probably because I've had this phone for uh, over a year now, about 16 months probably um, since the first day it came out. And um, you know, it's, it's taken a lot of abuse so that this, the speakers may have been damaged a bit. Uh, it's hard to tell. Um, uh, but um, you know, uh, Take that for what it's worth. Here's speed test. Now, I got some weird results earlier uh, when I switched the position of the phones. And I'm sitting on a, a laptop which is on, so they might get some interference from the Wi-Fi and that, and they're sitting next to each other. But they're both connected to the same access point, so uh, we'll see how it goes this time. I consistently get smaller uh, um, ping times, so there's less latency with this guy than when there is with this guy. Again, I don't pay too much attention to these speeds that you're seeing because I got considerably different results every time, but the ping time on the 4S was consistently much less than the ping time on the 4. Um, it seems to make a difference which one's in which position. Like if I were to swap hands, you might see slightly different results. But this guy's already done, and those are pretty damn good numbers for an iPhone sitting relatively far from the access point. Um, so that's good. By the way, I don't know if it makes a difference. This one doesn't have a case yet. This one does have a case on it. Um, but uh, I, don't, I don't see why that would make a difference. Um, let me see here. If I can find some of the same apps, which I can't seem to. Uh, one thing that happened when I did the sync, um, it put my apps in all kinds of different places, which wasn't cool. Um, so I'm having a hard time finding the same app. Here's Kayak. Again, probably not the best test in the world, but because uh, I've logged into this guy before and I haven't to this guy. But significantly faster just at low time. Well, no, it's the same screen, so I gotta think it's just faster on the 4S. Um, the only other thing I really wanna show you before this is all done, I wanna show you the difference in camera speed. This is what's impressive about the 4S. First of all, it loaded much quicker and the shutter opened much quicker. There is a little film, uh, protective film I have on the 4, so the screen is the same. Don't, don't think there's a difference in the screen. The clarity of the image on the 4S is, is significantly more clear. I can see uh, what's behind this lens a lot more clearly, but that could be that the lens is dirty on the 4. Um, here we go. I'm just going to start pressing the button as fast as I can on both of them, and you're going to see some massive differences. Okay, so if I go here to the camera roll, <laughs> I've got nearly twice as many pictures on the right as I do on the left. Okay, so um, again, um, take that for what it's worth, but the camera is significantly nicer and faster. Um, then obviously the other feature is uh, Siri itself. But as far as speed goes, um, not the biggest significant, most significant difference. Volume is definitely louder on this phone. Um, I, I have a hard time believing it was any anywhere close on this phone even before I may have damaged it in some way. Um, screen's the same, camera's faster, um, and seems like it's got less latency, whatever that means. I mean... You know, your mileage might vary on that one, but um, they're both the same. I do find the battery life on this one not as good as this guy, but that could be because of the HSPCA or HSP, whatever that thing is called, the new 4G type network. Anyway, good luck um, deciding which one you're going to, whether or not you're going to keep this or switch to this guy, but um, I might have another video later for Siri. Bye-bye.